You know, there's something very interesting about fruits and vegetables and herbs and everything that we consume to nourish ourselves. And I've never heard really anyone talk about it. And that is the fact that we have this slotted mechanism or this organized mechanism of perfect diversity. And what perfect diversity means is that our taste buds are stimulated in such a perfect fashion that we are able to, to experience immense diversity by eating fruits and vegetables. And my real question is, is that a coincidence? Is that planned? Is that something that was designed? What is it? What is that immense, beautiful, healthy diversity? What is that? Where does it come from? Where was it created? And uh, I made a beautiful flow chart. I want everyone to be quite uh, patient with it because it's quite complicated. Profitability and our taste buds promoted this diversity in all the produce and food that keeps us healthy and alive. Yeah, I want to talk about taste buds and fruits and vegetables. And the real question is, why do fruits and vegetables taste so good? Why are they so diverse? Why do they stimulate our taste buds? What is the connection between the synergy between flora and fauna? What is that connection? How does the fruit and vegetable know that if it tastes good, it's more attractive to all animals, stimulates our taste buds with sweet, sour, salty, bitter, umami, whatever it may be. These fruits and vegetables have the ability to stimulate our taste buds. So there is an awareness and there's a purpose. There's a synergy. And uh, this diversity in the fruits and vegetables has a purpose for humans and animals and everyone that eats fruits and vegetables. So what is that purpose? Is it the diversity that helps fruits and vegetables be very popular with um, all other uh, animals? What is that purpose? So this diversity of fruits and vegetables, is it programmed? Is it designed? What is it? What exactly makes these fruits and vegetables so slotted, so perfect? You know, you have figs, bananas, melons, celery, cucumbers, apples, oranges, grapes, and kiwi, and the list goes on. And they all have very distinctive tastes and textures and it's incredible. They smell different. They look different. They have bright colors. They have green colors. They have dull colors. Whatever it may be, the diversity in fruits and vegetables is absolutely incredible. So why is that? And then on top of that, these fruits and vegetables have the ability to stimulate taste buds in all the animals that digest them. And then the Fruits and vegetables are digestible by all these animals in the uh, fauna section. Why is that? Even insects, pollinators, have the ability to digest everything that plants have to offer. Where does that compatibility come from? Why is everything able to digest whatever these plants offer? Where does it come from? So, taking this one step further, the fruits and vegetables have the ability to nourish humans and animals in a very diverse manner. A lot of people say that there's a plant for every illness. That's not far away from the truth. The diversity of the fruits and vegetables is a diverse solution for humans or animals to improve their health because that diversity supplies so many different nutrients and so many different chemicals and whatever it may be that the body needs is inside these fruits and vegetables. So the diversity has a huge health effect on the, on the fauna side. Everyone is uh, you know, totally aware that if you eat diverse vegetables and fruits, you're going to be a lot healthier. So this complete coverage of nutritional requirements what is that all about? How do the fruits and vegetables know how to make all these diverse elements that are inside their, their fruits and vegetables that, that animals consume? How is that possible that they know how to make this diversity? 
how did humans know that human interference is a financial reward and it also increases the diversity, the natural diversity is manipulated by humans to make this diversity even more intense. They make oranges a lot more juicier. They have all these things that um, improves the profitability of fruits and vegetables. Why is it that these fruits and vegetables allow us to, to manipulate them in such a way that we benefit immensely from that botanical experimentation? So the question is, why would fruits and vegetables even bother creating this diversity? Why would they bother? What if all fruits and vegetables tasted the exact same? You only had one taste, and you only had one texture, and you only had one way of experiencing fruits and vegetables. What would the problem be with that? Why bother going through all this diversity? Why bother creating you know, all these beautiful colors and textures and tastes? Why? It's the synergy that's coming into place. What happens is, in order for humans to be interested in eating plant life, they want to be stimulated. They want to go through all these different sensations that happen when you eat or bite into an apple or bite into a peach, whatever it may be. And humans have this memory. So when you bite into a peach, you already know what you want to expect. It's been a little bit contaminated nowadays. Peaches don't always taste like peaches. But your expectation from your memory will tell you what a peach is supposed to taste like. So this memory enables humans to have a desire to eat certain fruits and vegetables. They desire, they want to eat fruits and vegetables, which in return supplies the human body with diverse nourishment. And that diverse nourishment has a purpose. It keeps us alive. It keeps us healthy. So the connection between fruits and vegetables and the taste buds and the human behind the taste buds is completely designed on purpose, created on purpose. And these diverse starting points of fruits and vegetables, when you manipulate them to get these taste buds more excited, and the colors, the visual stimulation, really red tomatoes and really um, black grapes or whatever it may be, you, you really get that stimulation from it and you want to eat it. So by eating fruits and vegetables, we stay healthy. The more diverse you, you consume these fruits and vegetables, the better your, your diverse nourishment is going to be. And this circle of, of a connection between flora and fauna has to be organized, it has to be planned, it has to be designed, it has to be logical, it has to work. And this diversity with purpose, this synergy, brings it all together. And please think about this concept of why on earth are fruits and vegetables slotted? Why do they have all these categories? Why are they so diverse? Why are they so different? Why, why, why? Why is that? And then this idea of it supplying us with great stimulation is a luxury. We have to consider it a luxury. So think about this whole scenario here. Make some good comments. Let's have an open discussion about this. And uh, this natural diversity is very interesting because humans, for example, with uh, citrus, they have si five citrus plants that weren't very, very prolific, very beautiful, not very juicy, very dry. And humans were able to make these um, citrus into many beautiful new varieties that, that human can, humans can enjoy every single day. So that manipulation that goes on with fruits and vegetables, is that planned? Is that organized? Is that designed? Why is it that humans are so easily able to, to have a great influence on the quality of produce? Very interesting question.